Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. This video I'm going to show you how we can hide files, folders, or even drives. So let's get started. So basically, there are two ways that you can hide your files or folders or even the drives. There is the graphical user interface, and then there is also the uh, command prompt. I'm going to show you both of those methods. So the reason you may hide it, it depends on you why you want to hide it. So let's go ahead and start with the process. Just right click on the file or the folder and then choose properties and simply check this box hidden. Then click apply. And also you can uh, apply any of the settings, but I'm going to choose the second option, which is also going to hide files and the folders available inside the folder. Then OK and OK. Now you can see that the new folder is on and we cannot see it okay enable and then see it just simply go to the new folder sorry file explorer or this pc or you can also open the control panel and then from there you have to go to the uh, folder options but very easiest one is this pc just right click on the see more option here and then choose options and now go to view and simply check this box then click apply and okay now you can see that is available but however you can see it is a little bit overlay it means it is still in the hidden mode but still you can see your files you can view your files you can edit them whatever it's up to you to uncheck it from the hidden section just simply again right click and then choose properties and then hidden, uncheck the hidden box and then apply okay and now you can see that that is gone you can just go ahead and revert the settings of the uh don't show hidden files as it is from before this is how you can hide the file or folder using the graphical user interface. How about we perform it on the CMD? To do it, we just have to open the CMD. Okay, right click and then choose the Windows terminal. I'm going to open the CMD from here and then, okay, you can also use the same command in the PowerShell tool, it does not matter. Now, the very first thing is that you have to know how to navigate around the path. Okay. To navigate around them, just simply right click uh, on the file or folder, sorry, and then choose copy as a path, and then copy it. Now, here you have to come and then simply type cd and then test the path that you simply copied. I'm also going to remove the new folder because new folder is available in the desktop. I want to go into the desktop, remember. If you want to go a folder back, again, simply press cd. Uh, to back and then press enter you can see that you are one folder back if you want to go one folder uh, forward then you have to simply uh, type here cd you want to go to the uh, stop here you can see that just simply type cd and then stop and press enter now i'm in the desktop directory okay now to hide the new folder i'm going to simply type a double t r i b here is the command attrib. Now simply type plus h, it will it means hidden. Now type the name of the folder. Simply I'm going to type an E W and press tab. By default, it is going to select the same folder and then press enter. Now you can see that it is hidden and now that is gone. Now to show the same folder or file, again you have to simply type the same command a double T R I B, except instead of plus, you have to type minus. And H and again now you have to simply type the name of the uh, file or folder and okay, I did a command wrong I should not put an E to the end now enter and now you can see that the folder is back again if you hide the folder again and check if the okay if you check using the CMD, new folder, new folder, no, you cannot see that one here. So it is good. It is definitely good. And now we have to again unhide the folder and now that is basically available. Now, this is how you can simply hide your files and folder. But what about the drives? How can you hide the drives? Is the same method going to work on the drives or no? I don't think so. So let me just simply form it on the drive new volume and then D. okay 
if I have to simply basically right click on it, I hold the shift button, you can see that I cannot see copy as a path. But if I have to do the same thing on the file or folder, I can see that copy as a path is available by default. But in the drive, that is not available. So this is going to create an issue for us because we don't know exactly the path. So again, if I have to try, I, I think it will be the wrong command, but for testing, it is better than nothing. Okay, a trip, uh, plus height. Now I have to simply type the... Uh, Okay, now it's not going to work exactly. The thing is that we have to be in the same path. We have to look at the same location. But drive D is not basically on the desktop. It is not located there. So even uh, if it should work, it have to work uh, user with the user graphical interface too. Just simply right click on the drive and then choose properties. Now here you can see that I cannot find the hidden option. Wherever I go, I cannot simply find the hidden option in here. Okay, that is definitely right. Now, how do we hide the drive in Windows 11? Well, the thing is, <coughs> you can also remove the uh, drive letter. That's all. Remove it, just simply open the disk management. Just right click on the start menu and then choose disk management. Okay, now you are available here. Now we want to hide this uh, local D, drive D. So just simply open it and then change drive letter and then simply choose remove. Yes. Okay, now we can see we have to let's go ahead and open it. You can see that the drive D is not available. If you want to basically uh, if you want to bring it back again just go ahead open the disk management right click on it and then choose change drive letter and then sign a letter for it and then choose okay now you can see that the drive d is basically available again you can also perform the same task using the cmd but you have to open the disk port for this section okay now let's just go ahead and open the simply type okay i will do like this and remove the drive letter okay to do it just simply uh open the start menu or whatever just simply type this part then press enter on the keyboard now this part is simply open now we have to simply type uh the list disk sorry list volume not list disk now here you can see that these are basically all the volumes available in the computer. Okay, now we want to hide the drive D. Simply type select. Uh, you can also type ZL, which is the short form of select here. Select volume. You can also type VOL for the volume one. Now you can see that the volume one is selected. Now we want to hide it. So simply type remove. Now you can see that it is removed. If you want to bring it back, just simply type a double S I G N assign. It is going to assign a letter to it. You see, this is how you can perform uh, the same task, the same task that we perform graphical user interface. Although I do not recommend to use this method if you want to hide your files or folders in a very secure way, uh, whoever knows how to navigate around windows they can simply go to the options and then they can simply open the, your files or folders and the same thing goes with the drives you have to find a very uh, you have to find another way another better way to hide your files or folders in windows 11 you can use any type of software or you can uh, basically find a command in windows 11 which should hide your files or folders alongside the system files this way i think it will be better compared to the these small command stuffs. So I searched on the web a lot, but I couldn't find those commands. But if you find those commands or if you find a very good software, then let me know. Let me know in the command section so and I will share it with you guys. So have a nice day and goodbye.